oh no, I just lost my cast on. <laughs> Have you had this happen to you? And because you don't know what, how that went on, you end up ripping out everything. I'm gonna show you how to fix this without having to rip out anything. So be sure to like and subscribe for more of these useful tips. Now, let's get to it. So, if you're casting on this many stitches, it may not be a big deal to just pull out and start over, but say you're starting on a shawl where they told you to cast on 400 stitches or a blanket or something, and you lose one in the middle, you do not want to redo that cast on, do you? So I'm going to show you how to put them back on your needle with a super simple trick without like it's just needles, no crochet hooks, no nothing. So the first thing to understand is that there are two different lengths of yarn here. So if you look at it, this one here in the front is bigger than the one in the back. We want the shorter edge to face us. So we need to actually turn our work around. If we're working in rows, you're just turning it around. If you're working in the round, you're already facing this way because you're just working over and over again. So now that you have that short edge facing you, you're just gonna do a couple of little flicks with your needles and it'll be fixed. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your left needle and you're gonna bring it through the hole and under that front loop. Then you're gonna take this back loop and bring it over the top. So you have under and over. Then you're gonna take your right hand needle and bring that second furthest away loop over the top and just try to hold on to this loop so it doesn't fall off as you bring it over. And now you have your cast on back. Same orientation. Just slide it right back over to the needle so that you can start working on it again. And you're set to go. So again, let me show you that. You pop one off. It's not acrylic yarn, so it just falls apart. <laughs> and you have two loops. Remember, you need the short loop towards you. So flip it around. You're gonna take your left needle, go through and under that short loop, then bring the tall, whoops, bring the tall loop over the top of that needle, and then you're just kind of like passing over, PSSO, pass that stitch over without losing that front stitch, and now you're back in the game. Slide it over right then, and then just turn it around. So super simple, now you don't have to rip out everything. Nice and easy, you can continue with your project, it's not a hard thing to do and you don't need any special tools. So that's how you fix your dropped cast on. Be sure to like and subscribe. I am Deja with Knit and Crochet Ever After and thank you for watching.